I have two different areas of practice. Um, one is media and defamation law, and the other is international trade law. Um, I chose international trade law because in my undergraduate degree at University of Alberta, I um, studied the economics and politics of trade and found it really fascinating. Um, so I actually chose to come to Ottawa to do a joint program um, offered by uh, University of Ottawa Law School and the um, Norman Patterson School of International Affairs. So that was what I actually thought that I would be doing and fortunately I ended up doing it. So um, not everyone is that lucky. Uh, but the other, um, because of the way that the practice um, evolved in our firm, uh, the lawyer who practices international trade also does defamation and media law and his predecessor did the same, um, primarily representing the Ottawa citizen. So that came with the international trade practice and um, that area of practice turned out to be um, very fascinating as well and um, completely different. Uh, the only two commonalities between the two is the, the litigation element. I think at Gowling's we're very fortunate because um, we have an outstanding client base. So our clients tend to be, or the clients that I work with, tend to be the absolute best in every area um, that they are operating. So you know whether it's the innovative industries or technology companies or traditional consumer businesses, retail, um, manufacturing, whatever it is that they're doing, they are the absolute best companies at doing that. The best piece of advice I've ever received from a mentor um, in terms of serving your clients is to be responsive. So that means you know, if you get an email from a client and you can't deal with it immediately, what you can do is write them back and say, I've gotten your email, um, I will be dealing with it uh, you know, at such and such time. So they feel as though um, you are responding and you are there. Uh, even though you can't uh, you know, address every matter as it comes in immediately. So that's probably the best piece of advice from a, a client service perspective. One of the things that I've learned from clients is that if you feel that you have a position that's right or that something should operate in a particular way or transpire in a particular way, uh, you should per pursue that. Sometimes when we're practicing law, we're very aware of the limitations of the law and um, it's refreshing to have clients who are committed to a position and they feel that it's right and they feel that if something is right, uh, there must be a way to correct the situation or to right that wrong. And I've had clients who have said, you know, we know this situation isn't correct, we know our position is right, find us a way, find us a way to make it right because that's what's just, what justice is about. And you know, I've had clients who have said, um, who've held a position that's not necessarily popular with people that they've had to deal with or with other parties, and they've said, you know, I may be wrong, it wouldn't be the first time, but this is my position and I'm sticking to it. So I, that's something that you can really respect and that I think as a lawyer, you have to keep remembering that that's the perception of your clients. The volunteer work that I do is extremely important to me because um, it gives me an opportunity to uh, give back to the community in the best way that I can and that's using my legal skills. So um, running is something that is my passion and uh, something that I do all the time and that's very important to me and um, I've had the, the opportunity to give back to the running community in Ottawa. Uh, through being a board member um, of Run Ottawa that plans the, uh, the Ottawa Race Weekend and through being a legal advisor to the organization. And that's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing for me because I want to be able to show my gratitude for that sport and for my involvement in that sport and what I have to give or what I have to offer is legal knowledge and it's not something that everyone has and it's a way that I can give back. I think everyone um, who works in private practice faces the challenge of trying to balance work with other aspects of their life, whether it's family or staying healthy um, or just finding time to do um, other things and to, to be a well-rounded person. Um, I think the, the way that I've addressed that issue or overcome that challenge is to not really try to achieve 
any particular level or type of balance. I, to me, it's all, um, it's just all one thing. I mean, we're, we're completely connected all the time. I see technology as something that gives us amazing opportunities to, you know, be other places and doing other things and still be able to be connected to work. And I, I, that's the way that, that I like to do things. And I, I don't see it as an obstacle. I see it as something that provides you the opportunity to um, be spending time with family and be doing other things and still connected to the workplace.